Hi friends, let's build an image chatbot. The application lets us upload an image and then start with it. For example, so here I have uploaded an image and I just had a chat with it uh, to save some time. First I asked what's in the image and the bot responded with the image features close up of three pink flowers likely roses grown in a garden uh, so and so forth the green leaves water droplets uh, leaves and vibrant appearance uh, looks perfect description of this image and then I asked uh, did you say they are in red color uh, the model responded no uh, the flowers are in pink color so with this question uh, we are testing uh, its memory right because this is a chatbot uh, we want uh, uh, it's a two-way conversation uh, so that uh, the model also knows the history all right then are you sure there are three flowers uh, first initially it said yes there are three flowers uh, and then I said but I can see only two flowers uh, then it said okay apologize for the con uh, confusion uh, two flowers are clearly visible but the third one is in the background so and so forth Okay, so this is how uh, we can chat with uh, uh, any image. Now let's see how to build this application. Okay, all right. All right, now I'm running this code on Google Colab uh, because uh, this require a large multimodal model uh, uh, with the uh, GPU uh, which I don't have so I am running this code on Google Colab uh, where we can use free GPUs all right so the model we are going to use it's called this lava uh, which is large language and vision assistant so it's a multimodal model it combined both the vision and the language okay so these are called large multimodal uh, models all right now this model is free uh, it's hosted on Hugging Face Hub. Uh, so we are going to use Transformers library uh, to access the model. And we are going to quantize the model to save the memory. And in order to do that, we need these two libraries, Bits and Bytes and Accelerate. We are going to use Gradio for uh, 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 giving it the UI form, the chatbot, okay? All right, so first, uh, let's define uh, this configuration so that we can quantize uh, and read the memory in this four bits uh, format. Okay, so from transformers, we are importing the pipeline. So hugging face, uh, they have made it very convenient for us to use any uh, LLMs and LMMs uh, through this pipeline, which we will see in a minute and uh, bit and byte config. So this is our uh, Quantization config, it's just the important thing is, here we say load in this four bit true, okay? And the model we are going to use, as I mentioned, it's this lava uh, hugging face, and we are going to use the seven billion parameter model. Now there is also a 13 billion parameter model, but we need more compute and memory resources uh, to be able to use that model. And defining the pipeline is super easy. We just specify the type of application. Uh, this is image to text. Uh, similar to it, we have text to text, uh, uh, image to image, uh, so on and so forth. Okay, the model and then the quantization configuration. Okay, so that's how we can instantiate the pipe. First, let's test the pipe. Now, when we run this the first time, uh, the model gets downloaded. Uh, this model, as I mentioned, uh, is quite uh, a huge in size. So as you can see from here, these three are uh, the main model files uh, are the weights are the tensors. So as you can see, each one uh, is more than uh, four gigabytes. Okay. Uh, if you run it locally, it might take uh, several hours depending on your connection. But Google Colab has very fast connection as you can see from here, 154 uh, Mbps, right? So within few seconds, we can download a model of size uh, several uh, gigabytes all right so uh, again in the chatbot uh, we are going to upload an image 
uh, but here let's just access an image from the internet using the request library and we load the image using PIL uh, image okay so this image is of type PIL image that's uh, important because uh, the model can uh, uh, accept only PIL image types okay uh, the standard one we just have a URL and we are using request uh, to read the memory uh, sorry read the image and just resize it to uh, 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 a particular size all right and then uh, the most important one is this prompt now as you know different LLMs uh, are LMMs uh, they have a specific format uh, which they understand and can work with so for this one we say the user and in Im image so this is just uh, saying we are uh, giving you an image this is not the image itself and then uh, the user describe uh, the question or what they wanted right and then we have this assistant and with, we leave it with some empty space uh, of course empty space is not important but we need this format so three elements the user uh, image the user question and assistant so it's like the model try to fill up what this assistant uh, response is okay all right so we call the pipe we just supply the image uh, the prompt and we can also provide uh, 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 parameters model parameters like how many uh, uh, maximum tokens we allow in the output and uh, the temperature etc okay so the output it has the response and for this given image it came up with this uh, description so here we are not asking any specific question we are just uh, asking uh, uh, the model to describe the picture so it says the image features a large empty amphitheater with stunning view of the ocean in the background all right and then now let's create uh, 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 the chatbot with gradio uh, it's super simple so in order to use the gradio components we need to first create uh, a function so here we are creating a function called update conversation uh, which takes three variables the new question from the user the chat history and the image okay all right so if the image is done we are just asking hey can you please upload the image again the most important thing here is uh, this one so as you saw from here we have the user image and the user question okay so first we have the user and the image and then we should have the user question uh, the assistant for the first time assistant response is empty but if it's a chart uh, we already have a conversation uh, uh, with the model then we would have a number of user questions followed by uh, the number of uh, uh, assistants responses right so what we are doing is we are taking this history so the history 00, zero that would be the first user question history 01 that would be the first response from LLM so what we are doing is we have defined this as the prompt and then to the prompt we are adding the user query and if the conversation has already happened then we are adding the model response okay so in this loop we add all the history to the prompt okay and finally we append just this assistant uh, with uh, empty uh, uh, space right so this way we are following this format which start with the user image the user question assistant response user question assistant response so and so forth and finally we would have assistant uh, and we with with a colon okay which is where uh, the assistants uh, provide us the response okay so that's why uh, this format is quite important all right again we call the pipe with image the prompt and uh, the model parameters uh, we set the maximum uh, new tokens to 200 you can set some temperature uh, so and so forth okay so we get the response and here we are returning the response now building uh, this chat interfaces with gradio is super simple all we do is we just uh, uh, creating this uh, demo 
and we are saying this will take an image so it will accept an image uh, this pil image as an input and then we are creating this chart interface now the history everything is handled by the gradio itself right so from the history uh, uh, variable we are accessing all the history and carefully designing the prompt okay so we don't have to worry about uh, the memory buffer uh, so and so forth everything is handled by uh, uh, the gradio with this function chat interface okay all right um yeah so it simply accept uh, this the conversation and the additional input is the image okay so we are launching the app uh, in debug mode now uh, usually we run this as a python file but if you are running from google collab it will create uh, this uh, 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 link where we can chat so clicking on it uh, takes it takes us here so let's just test one more time uh, uh, i don't know so all these are some uh, flower images so maybe okay let me do this all right uh, let's ask how many flowers are there now these models uh, those are not good with counting uh, i've been testing with certain objects asking it to count uh, only when there are a couple uh, they are counting them correctly but if there are let's say four or five uh, uh, or if they are uh, close to each other the counts are usually bad i mean it either returning too large number or uh, simply saying uh, there are too many or a bunch of them instead of the actual count uh, all right uh, that's all for this video thank you very much